So you know what's better than one drop test? Two drop tests. I have two more brand new iPhone 8s, which Apple claims to have the most durable smartphone glass ever. But it's important to remember that even though it might be durable glass, it's still glass. And the unfortunate part about the iPhone glass is that it's incredibly expensive to replace. Even if you have Apple Care, the back glass replacement is $99. And after your two-year Apple Care is up, or you don't get Apple Care at all, it's $349. That's expensive for a back glass panel. With Samsung phones, you can usually replace that panel for about 20 bucks. So there's a big difference. Today's drop test is going to be sponsored by the Rhino Shield mod case. I'll be dropping one of the phones, the silver one, completely naked, and the other one, the black phone, is going to have the Rhino Shield mod case installed on it. This says it's a super tough modular case that changes according to your needs. So we'll put that tough part to the test. Let's get started. So both of these phones are brand new and 100% functional. And the case that the black one is going to be wearing is from Rhino Shield. On the box it says it's impact resistant to 11 feet, but I've actually dropped a Rhino Shield case from over 100 feet and have the phone survived, so I'm pretty sure this phone's going to be all right. Inside the box we have the bumper shield, and as part of the mod part of the casing, we have a back. So you can have the case operate in one of two ways. One is just the bumper shield or have the back installed as well. Since both the front and back of the phone are made from glass, I am going to install the back cover, just so I can avoid paying that $350 replacement fee. If I wanted to install just the bumper though, I would just slip it into the case, like so. It would have a raised rubber lip around the front and the back to protect it from impacts, even keeping the camera lens below that surface. The case fits pretty snug all the way around the phone, but does leave us enough room for the ports around the speaker, the microphone, and that charging port. I'm sure if there was a headphone jack, there would be room for that as well, and the buttons still have a clicky feel to them. Getting the back glass protecting panel into the phone is easy enough. Just pulled out that rubber insert and dropped the phone into the case. Not too bad. If you're not a fan of the clear back, they do have some designer versions, but I'm going to leave mine clear because we are dropping this phone, and I want to see if the back panel is protected by the case. The last cool thing is that this case actually comes with lens mounts, so you can increase the power of your camera with additional lenses. I'll be testing these out in a second, but first, let's drop these things. Just like last time, I will have two phones recording in slow motion. Right now we have the Google Pixel recording on this side, and then we have the clear Galaxy Note 8 recording on this side. The Rhino Shield mod case does come in different colors. I will have all of these linked down in the video description if you want to check them out. The nice thing about all the different colors of the Rhino Shield mod case is that they don't absorb stains, like from your pocket or blue jeans, which is a little bit more than the Pixel can say. So I think one of the most common times that I've dropped my personal cell phone is when I leave it on my lap and get out of my car. I'll leave that there for a second and try it with the Rhino Shield mod case. No damage done to the back of the unprotected phone. Back or front, both seems to be working just fine. And no damage appears to have happened to the Rhino Shield either. We'll try it one more time for good measure, getting out of the car with the unprotected case. And getting out of the car with the protected case. Looks like we have one giant crack all the way through the back of the phone, starting up here by the antenna line. Camera lens is still fine, but now we owe Apple $349 to replace this. Taking off the case of the Rhino Shield, just to double check, and everything is fine. Front of the phone is also undamaged. Let's keep going. And just for the record, that is about a three foot drop from the edge of my seat all the way to the ground, and the unprotected iPhone is shattered. So now we'll drop the phones from about waist high, which is the second most common drop, just pulling it out of your pocket and letting it go.
Looks like the screen of the phone is totally fine and the back panel still has that same crack, but we're still good. And the Rhino shield is good on the front and good on the back. We'll do another waist high drop for good measure. This is drop number four. Front of the phone is still good. Back of the phone is the exact same. Front of the phone is good and the back of the phone is still not cracked. Now we'll be going about chest high. This is drop number five. Take a look at the damage. It looks like we have a couple more cracks along that side right there. Front of the screen, oh, now we have damage on the front as well. We got a nick right there in the corner, as well as a crack in the top. The Rhino Shield case, we are looking totally good on the front. And if we pop the case out, it's a pretty tight fitting case. The back panel is still fine, so we owe Apple nothing to fix this phone so far. The unprotected phone now has screen and back panel replacements. And with Apple's in-house repair costs, it might be cheaper to buy a new phone at this point. All right, now we'll be doing head high, as if it slips from your hand as you're talking on the phone. Taking a look at the silver phone, same cracks as before, nothing new yet, and we have a new spider web in the corner of the screen. Pretty safe to say that this phone wouldn't survive any kind of drop over three feet. Now we have the 11 foot protected phone and the screen is still fine and the back panel is still good underneath that plastic. So I'm about six feet tall. I'm gonna raise my hand above my head and drop it from there just for kicks and giggles, see what happens to both phones. This is about an eight foot drop, give or take. Oh man. And it is pretty easy to tell that the iPhone 8 did not survive that at all. Even the camera lens is completely shattered on that one. We are doing this drop test on asphalt to imitate a parking lot, you know, whether you're in your car and getting out, dropping it as you're getting groceries, both the screen and the back are completely obliterated. Taking a look at the Rhino Shield case, no damage on the front. We'll pop it off and take a look at the back. And the back panel of the phone is completely fine. So now after having dropped four different phones and two different drop tests, I think it's pretty safe to say that it doesn't matter what Apple says about their most durable glass ever, glass is glass and it's gonna break if it's dropped. It's very unfortunate about their super high repair costs. That I'm not a fan of. Personally, I'll be trying to find a way to fix it cheaper than what they're charging, as always. But until then, a case is a very good idea. And the one we use today, the Rhino Shield Mod Case, holds up pretty darn well. Like I mentioned before, the Rhino Shield case does come with external lenses. We'll try out the macro lens on the damage done to the iPhone 8. And this is the footage done with one of the macro lenses attached to the phone. If we were to unscrew that lens, the footage wouldn't be quite as close up. I'll also try out this wide angle lens. Super big thanks to Rhino Shield for sponsoring this video, by the way. This drop test would not be possible without them. Just like a real camera lens. That thing is beastly. So here's some video with that wide angle lens in place. It's got quite a big field of view with not a whole lot of fisheye effect. It's letting us capture quite a bit into the image. I'm gonna unscrew the lens for kicks and giggles, see if we can get it. And we are much closer up. I'll be linking all of those cases and lenses in the video description of this video. So head down there if you need protection for any of your phones. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I don't always delight in the abuse of iPhones, but sometimes it's necessary. Thanks a ton for watching and I'll see you around.